Hey everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this drop down box. It's similar to the drop down box that I've done before, and I'll link them up here and they'll also be linked at the end of the video. But um, I just wanted to make some gift boxes. So you just slide off the belly band here, which is really cute. I liked that one. And then these drop down. Now there's four boxes. If you want, you can do two long ones, but I like that you've got four separate boxes to put four separate gifts in. Now these will also hold two Tonics tea cakes in each one. And yeah, you know, if, if I'm gonna make a box, I like to be able to, you know, see if I can fit those in there. So that you could put eight Tonics tea cakes, for example, in there, but you could put, you know, small treats, gift cards, all that kind of stuff. But I also thought you could actually stick a gift card in the center here. I love this stamp. I think it's a really nice surprise when the boxes drop down. And it's a really fun way of, you know, doing a gift box so it just all slides really nicely there within that belly band. I've used the Circus Collection by Craft Consortium which I adore and again I will link as always all of that below and yeah there it is so let me show you how to make this really fun gift box. Okay so I've got everything here that I'm going to use today and I'll talk you through that in a moment. I've already done three of the boxes because we need four all together so I'm just going to show you that one and then the rest of it's really straightforward and it's very easy to put together. So for each box, um, you can also do this with two, you don't have to have all four. So you know, once you see how I put it together, it's very easy to just adjust this piece here, which is how we hold them all together. So you'll want four pieces that are five and three quarters by 12 inches, okay? And you wanna score every one. I'm gonna go along this side first. So along the five and three quarter, if it's directional paper, so have it up this way and then move it this way because this score line, this one and a half, that's the base, okay? So you wanna score at one and a half and then at three and three quarters and at five and a quarter. And then along the 12 inch side, you want to score at four and a half, six, and at ten and a half. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make our hinge to connect this. I really wanted to get the whole width and that was how I was able also to get the two of those Tannix tea cakes in but I just thought it just it, it's a great size and um, you can put you know lots of things in this you know use your Christmas papers and things like that it'll look great under the tree. So yes yeah, so that's why I'm going to add this hinge on because I wanted to get that size and it means you get that full 12 inches. So that's all of the scoring there and then for this piece this is six by, it's just over, nine, like it's, it's just a smidge under nine and one eighth of an inch. You want it just a little bit bigger than nine and just a little bit under nine and one eighth, okay? And that is by six inches, so I think I said that. So then you want to score along the six inch side at one and a half and four and a half. And these pieces you can fold and burnish because they're going to fold in on themselves, like so. Okay, then for the belly band, I've got a piece here which is 5 by 12, and then for the oval shape on top, I've just used the Card Making Magic, and it's the A5 oval dies, and I've just selected two of them there with some of the matching papers. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of the scoreboard, and then with the box, you just want to fold and burnish all of your score lines. Okay, so you'll have your four and a half section here, then a one and a half, four and a half, and a one and a half. Okay, so make sure it's in that, you know, orientation. You should have, if it's a, like I said, a print and it's, or it's directional, then it should be facing the right way up. And you'll have, along the bottom, you'll have a rectangle, a square, a rectangle, and a square. At the top, you'll have this half inch piece. So just make sure you have it in that, um, you know, format. And then we're gonna cut up these uh, score lines along the bottom up to that first score line. So all of those, okay, and then with the squares here, just take a little wedge off of each side there. And then this section here, so this rectangle at the top and that half inch piece, we want to remove all of it. So I'm just going to bring in these scissors here. So I'm going to cut along that score line and then down past the half inch. You're then cutting down to that second score line. I'll lie it down here in a second so you'll be able to see exactly how that looks, okay? So you can still see here we've got the square and then that half inch piece, the rectangle half inch piece and the other square, all right? And then you just wanna cut down these other two. So past the first score line and down to the second. Okay. 
and then above each of the squares just take away that half inch piece you just want it left on the top of this one because that's how we're going to close the box so again just that on that. now with this piece here we're going to keep that and that's how we're going to make our little hinge in a minute so don't throw that away so now you'll see what we've got okay these two here you just want to take a small little bit off of each side, not much at all, it's just so that you can close it, but you want it to be a nice tight closure. You can see none of the lids pop out of these. If you cut too much, they'll just be a bit bouncy and they won't close properly, so just a little slither. You can always take a bit more off when you go to close it if you feel you need to, like so. And also, just where that half inch, inch piece is here, just take a little bit off of each side. Again if you want to wait till you put it all together then you can do. So now if I lay it down you can see what you've got there. So these two and these two and then you just got that rectangle with the smaller one and then you've got all of that section there. Okay so now with this piece here you want to trim this down so that it is two and a quarter by one inch. I'm not worried about how the pattern looks or anything like that because you're not going to see it. And then you just want to score at half inch along the one inch side. And then just fold it in half. Um, if you actually keep it folded over completely, you just want to cut from the folded side facing you, just cut up on an angle and then just flip it and then again cut up. You just want to get little wedges off of each side just so it kind of hides in there and doesn't stick out. So now we're just going to attach this onto our box. So I've just got some of my glue here and I'm just popping some glue on one half of the tab. Flip this over and I'm just going to stick it so the score line runs. If I fold it in half you basically want it to completely hide within the top square and the bottom square. It's within that section there. But when you fold it over, if you flip it over you don't want to be able to see it. So once it's, you know, that's just dry, we'll put more glue there and then we'll put the box together. Okay. So now I'm going to fold that piece over and just pop some more glue just on there. And then just fold that over. And you'll see there, it all folds nice and flat and it all matches. Okay, so that is the shape that you'll now have. Next, you want to stick down the bottom. So I like to put this one down first. So you've got your opening here, so it's that bottom one. Then I'm going to pop some glue onto each of my sides here. And then just cover all of this. And then just pop that on. And then you can just open up the sides. So. Okay, and then you can fold the sides in. And this is now where you can see if you need to maybe cut a little bit more off of the top there. But you see, you want it to you want it to be a little bit kind of tight as it goes in, because that now won't pop open. And you've got that great little box. Like I said, these are really good just on their own. You know, put a little bit of ribbon around them. They make nice little favour boxes. So do that four times so you have all of those, or just the two. You can easily just reduce this size here if you want to. Next, you're going to fold these in, and then we're going to stick these on. Now, I want it so that the open side is inside. If you want to have it so that the open side is on the outside, you can, but I quite like the thought of having it that way. So that's just my reasoning there um, and why I'm doing it. So, okay, so I just started sticking that down and noticed that the memory card was full. So what I've done is I've just quickly unstuck it. But So we've got our folded piece here. I've just put glue, so I'm gonna add some more. It's be really strong now. But you just wanna add glue down both sides. Try not to make sure, you know, none of it goes inside here. So I'm just gonna pop that on there and again on here. If you do it this way, it just ensures that it's all going to fold down together. And then you want to make sure the top is obviously at the top. And I've got my opening on the inside and I'm just going to stick it on top here. Just hold it up there just so I can see what I'm doing. So there's that one. Just make sure that they're all opening, you know, facing the right way. That one. 
and then you can just line these ones up with the ones next to it and then this one like so you can see already they just want to fall open which is what you want it's the belly band that's going to hold it together but then they can just drop down like this i'm just going to make sure that's all secure okay and then i've got this one here which i've already stamped it's a brilliant stamp by woodware again i'll share all the links below but i just love this and i've used it before and i've just stamped up to like there so you don't even have to have it as long if you don't want to um, but that's how it looks it's just brilliant so i have cut because these are mats and layers so i'll give you the sizes to what i've used here and then you can stamp and you know pop whatever you want in there you could put the gift card you know in this section as well like i've done on that other drop down box so it was two and a half by eight and a half and the holographic was two and three quarters by eight and three quarters okay so again i'm just going to you don't want to put any foam or anything on this you don't want it being two dimensional because obviously the boxes are going to go on top of this so um you know i just do that mat and layer I wouldn't go too mad but this will now sit perfectly inside here and I just think it's a really nice thing to see when this box opens like so and again now when that closes it's like a nice little surprise when it drops down so then I've got my belly band so this was a piece I think it was five I said yeah five by twelve with all the belly bands, I never score them. I just think they work so much easier. You want to put it in, well, it doesn't really matter at this point. I guess when you, you know, go to finish it, you want to make sure it's in the middle. But just pop it so that you've got an even amount on each side. Now, I'm going to have my decoration on the very top here. You know, if you want it on the side, then you'll want your belly band to join on the side. But I'm going to just bring up this side. You want to, you know, you want it to be tight enough that it stays on, but you don't want it to be so tight that it's actually going to you know it'd be difficult for the recipient to actually take off so and just wrap it around till they join just kind of roughly you know burnish the folds there and then take it away and then you can actually fold it over line it up make sure it's all straight and then you can put a proper crease in like so now again just grab that pop it in there and then I'm just going to add some glue, just see roughly how much it's going to overlap that one. It's about an inch, like so. And then I can just lay that one down over the top there. Again, make sure it does slide off so you've got no glue <laughs> sticking to it. So I'm actually now just going to lay it down flat. Again, just burnishing all of those score lines really well. And then where I've got my join there, I must have cut it a bit crooked on my trimmer, but it doesn't matter because this is now going to cover. And mine, I've done it so that the oval is just slightly bigger than the paper. I quite like that. So I am going to add some foam to this one because I think that looks quite nice. So I'll just pop a couple of my little foam dots here. Okay, I'm just going to lay it down flat. I can see where the middle is there where I need to get everything lined up. Now this should sit very nicely. Over our boxes. Like so. I think it's a really nice gift. So now I'm just going to decorate it. So I've got all of the little, well, some of them. I've got the wood. These are called the wooden shapes. So I've got those. I've also got the stars because I think I'll pop a couple of them on. And also on the fronts of the paper pads of the circus collection, you have all of these. So it's worth cutting them out. You know, don't um, you know, make sure you don't throw it away or anything. But I've gone and just fussy cut them. I'm obviously not going to use all of these. But even just having, you know, the circus tent right in the middle there, which I may well do. Um, you know, you've got the lie in there. I've got some of the tickets. So I'm just going to spend a few minutes just decorating this one. Um, and then I'll be done. Okay, so there is the finished box. I've got everything on some foam pads just to give it dimension. I've just popped the, the ring mask there with the circus tent and a ticket, and I've just popped a couple of those little embellishments there. And then I also thought, oh, I'll decorate the side of this. I just think it looks quite nice. So these pieces here are two by four and three quarters, and then everything's nice and dry now. So I'm gonna just slide it off, and then it opens up. And obviously you can open them up from the inside there 
to reveal all the lovely treats and the gifts that are inside. So I think it's brilliant. I really do. Super pleased with how this one's come together. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to fill it with some nice treats for somebody now. So it might be a birthday one. I can easily just pop a little happy birthday sentiment on there. But I think it, you could actually do it on the side there. But it could, could also work as a Christmas one because it, you know, it's great colours. You could easily put Merry Christmas there or have a little tag hanging off. So we'll see. It's a nice one for me to keep in my stash now. Yeah, so I'm really, really pleased with this one. Love how it's come together. So thank you for watching. As always, I will link everything that I've used today in the description box below. I'll also put up here the drop down box and the roll box because they're quite similar to this. So you may enjoy those as well. And if you haven't already and you'd like to, just hit the, my face there and you can subscribe to my channel. And if you hit the notification bell, then you'll get a notification every time I release a new video. Thanks for watching. See you soon.